Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, Violent Divine Healer here with you getting ready to be reading. That's right, so Taurus Gemini, welcome. Come on in, put your feet up, grab your coffee, let's get hot. Don't mind my dog, she's just rubbing herself all over the couch. <laughs> Anyways, so if your birthday was May 17th to the 23rd, you are part of the cusp of energy, that's right. Feeling energetic on you today? That's great. Me too. Anyways, so that's basically it. Cusp is that that change, the transitional period of time between those signs. And that's when your birthday falls in, and that's what makes you a cusp. So, Divine Squad, thank you, my little subscribers. Appreciate your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Noobs, that you brand new to the channel. Come on in. Let's get hot. Let's do your reading. Not yet. See that? Slickery at its best. More slickery. Okay. So, noobs, here's what I do. I basically lay two cards out for your energy now in the present. Then I will lay more cards out to tell you a story. Those two first cards are your duality. That's the balance of your yin and your yang, positive, negative, light, dark, masculine, feminine. So then I lay more cards out to tell you a story. Within that story will be your message. If you get your message, I'll send two more cards to close your duality. And the reading with your verdict, your outcome, and then send you on your way. But when you're on your way, tell everybody about my channel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so let's get into it. Pull your cards and see what your answer is now. One more shuffle. Okay, that sounds good. Feels good. Here's your first card. Three cups. Hmm. Too early to tell. <laughs> so I'm going to say, I'm going to pull the other card and we're going to see what this energy is about. The lion. Strength card. Okay, so here we go with your energy, my friend. This is you wanting the courage to go explore your emotions with someone. See how those two cups are there? That's you and that's the other person you want to pour it into one cup. So this is you trying to have the courage to explore something in love. That's all I'm going to say. Here comes your first card of your story. want to take a leap of faith. You want to jump face first off that cliff. Pew! Good. That's what you want to do. With the Leo energy here, the strength card, you're, you're very courageous. You're very determined. You're very strong in this idea about wanting to take a leap of faith. Let's get into it further and see. So much so that you're willing to take action at this moment. You want to take very, very passionate action in this exploration. Okay, we'll just say exploration. Here's your next card. Exploring the high pre uh, the, the hierophant. That's your own energy. Mm. Well, it looks like you want to, you know... You want to take some very quick, passionate action in making um, something official. Mm -hmm. You want to make something official. Let's see what this is going to be. And with who? Look at you, Six of Wands, successfully going towards your goal here. Six of Wands, success, forward movement, victory. Okay, looks real good. Yeah, you are displaying the courage to want to explore your love for somebody that you want to take a leap of faith towards because you have this very 
passionate drive to take action to make something official that will be successful and victorious. Victorious is the word of the day. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Eight of Pentacles. It's going to be a little of a bit of a hard work to do this. There's hard work involved with this. Though it will be successful, it's going to require you to put in some hard work. Some hard work and effort. <clears throat> okay, hard work and effort. About, ooh, two cards. Bottom to the top, top is the bottom. You know how I do it. Uh, it's going to be hard work for you to make this choice. It's going to be hard for you to make this decision. About something that you're holding on to. Someone. Four cups. Two of swords. Yes. Okay, these cards I'm going to have to adjust again. Let me get them right. Added more stuff to my table. So it's kind of like I'm running out of room here. But anyways, the hard work is making this choice about someone that you're holding on to, my friends, yes, holding on to, because you have so much love for this person, that they haven't not showed themselves yet, but you know who they are, that's why you want to take a leap of faith towards them and make it official, and be victorious. The hard work is making this decision to hold on to um, this person you love so much. King of Cups. Temperance. So you need to find a balance. You need to find some peace and harmony within yourself to be able to break this barrier of Thinking it's going to be hard work to actually, what, ask a question, make a decision about someone that you're holding on to, that you really, really love the most within your heart, deep in the soul. Mm -hmm. Show some courage. Throw that out there. Let's see. Getting close to the end of the story, my friends. Look at you. Boom. This is is the yellow brick road my friends that's the yellow brick road leading right to your abundance right and it's underneath the six of wands the victory card success so this is a brand new beginning this is a brand new beginning in abundance this is a brand new beginning in stability oh my god what are you waiting for? Like, shit, get on the phone, text message, email, whatever, make this decision because it's not as hard as you think. Yeah. Look at you with the three of wands. Waiting. You're waiting for the ships to come in. You're waiting for this abundance to come in. You're waiting for all this to come in. That's why you're having this temperance and patience and balance. But it's still you that need to make this decision that you think is going to be hard work. This is why you need to display some courage and strength. Last card of your story, noobs, and then we're going to get the outcome. So please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Become part of the divine family. Right. Here we go. Last card. Oh, look at you with the seven of pentacles. Yeah. You're waiting your time to invest. Yes. You definitely want to explore investing with this person that you see very stable, very abundant, but you need to display some, some balance and peace and harmony within yourself to make this very decision that you think is tough but it's very successful in just go ahead and 
in stepping forward as this Knight of Wands and taking this action. That's the story, noobs. I hope you like it. Here comes the outcome. Here comes the verdict. Let's see what happens with this juicy plot. Oh, my God. There's the chariot. So the divine is dropping this right off in front of you. Right at the curb. The divine uber. Pop chariot card. More success. More forward victory. But it's from the divine. So he's telling you. Um, you can do this. It's not as hard as you think. Trust me. Have a little faith. Here's your next card. Oh, tower. Right. So the tower's not that bad because you know why? It doesn't ruin anything. It doesn't end anything. It just basically stops this idea of this decision is going to be hard for you because, I mean, God's making it so easy for you to see in front of your eyeballs that your collaboration with said person whoever that may be in your life or want to be in your life is, is just enough for you to start taking action and make this leap of faith to execute this decision because you have a lot of love for this person and that will bring some balance and stability to your life as a new start and you guys or exploring your options because you want to invest with this shit and boom exploring options of what are we going to do like how's our life going to be let's make it the best we can and plant the best harvest make the strongest foundation plant the deepest roots because the divine is bringing you this and it changes your whole idea of being in this oh it's hard to make this decision Take a leap of faith. Because the divine is bringing this right to you. What can I say? <clears throat> that has been your reading, my friends. So thank you for the coffee time. Thank you for the story time. I appreciate your time, your energy. Thanks for coming out. Hit the like button and subscribe. Become part of the divine family. And um, don't forget... Check out the other playlists that I got going on. And uh, have yourself a great day. Peace and pray. We'll see you again.